Okay, go. Hello, I'm Speedback55. This game is Sonic Colors DS, which is the third of the Sonic Rush series. So, thanks for the Sonic Rush series, Sonic Rush involves Sonic Rush, Sonic Rush Adventure, and Sonic Colors DS, which is the third game in the Rush series, which is also a Nintendo DS. So this setup here is running between two screens, the top and the bottom. These are a boost mechanic, and there's also five color wisp powers in this game, which they're not from each new zone. So we're going to do how to use it before we use it. So this will differ from some of the individual levels. It introduces two Nintendo DS physical support. Scat 3 is basically only percent, so it's really pretty straightforward. You got to go through onto the boss in each of the zones to face the final boss. Good possible. So we have about half an hour to save the world from Eggman. So yeah, why not? So without further ado, I'm going to start soon. And I start to be when I play, play game up on the screen. So without yeah, further ado, let's yeah. So just give me a countdown and then tell me when to start. Sure. Yeah, we'll do. Start time in three, two, one, go. So what? So at the start. In this game, we don't have all. So what I'll be doing to gain speed is jumping that thing. Okay. So yeah, if we have those, we have to be able to add this Then we have to... You can't break the cap, so you can actually do that by jumping downwards. And that brings you back to the speed. And it's very important to get the arm damage as well. Sure. Hold it down here, take a good shot. So yeah, that was a mistake because I wasn't actually going to the red ring. Now, color power that would be in here because it would be punched. And if we have both, we have to slide your entire ring. And that can take damage deliberately because if you reach the end with 50 or more rings, you get a better state of the time. And if you collect all the wings before you... If you collect all the wings back that point, in that, in that guy's section, the uh, last bomb that was supposed to be there was just an extra life. When it goes back to... So now we have now have... Now we can have a much quicker. So this is very similar to the individual level groups. You don't have the right time to speed up. Nice. That way, that way is damage deliberately, so I could basically use light skip especially for the end. Yeah. Alright, now for Clover's run. So, this is, so now we're at the first boss. And this has a specific setup for it. And you want to do that on this. 
And this allows you to block this double hit. And then you watch the in the right place. Just take advantage of a double hit again. First one complete. Alright, we can move on to the next one. Sweet Mountain. So yeah, when you get the Colored Wisp, it always has the mini game. Fortunately for this one, you can just tap on the right screen, top right on the right screen and then it automatically gets it. Let's go. Right, that's the part of the But this is like specific. You're supposed to use the laser with that. Access that area. Which you don't have. Right, what's the point of So yeah, this is first. And this is now you can basically fly for the explosion. Which I used to act in that area. And with that you can use the to break like chocolate walls which you can't break even the most. Jelly. And great, you should not do it in there. Nice, now we move to Act 2. Let's go. Straight away with you have to go to get up here. Pretty hard to work because if you run in, you fall into the room, which you don't want to do. I feel too late to stop the world. Quite good. Right, yeah, you have to you have to wait speed after getting to the jump. Right, You can actually jump over with the spring, but it's like very tight. That hits deliberate, so I just throw the wings. Yeah, yeah, it's all good. Yeah, this game is pretty, pretty good. I think it's a good luck as well. Good enough. 20. If you go on that shortcut, then that used to be like a 24. That's how much time it saves. Okay. That's one of the enemies that boost, and it goes into this enemy. Alright, now we can move to the next zone, Starlight Carnival.
And this one looks pretty quick, so it's very easy for Rocket to win. Thankfully, it didn't. Right, there's the tutorials, let's go. Okay, look, now we have them here. So another one that you can unlock that is available here is Laser Dust. And Laser gets Laser in the game. So if I had Laser, I'll be able to take the uh, one we have. That's laser smooth strongly. Yeah, now I'm gonna make a big jump. This is landing. Get down here. And that allows you me to get the block rocket. The game wants us to use two, but with that we can just use to get the M1. Amazing. Right, so act two. Right, that's a bit of a watch of that. Right, let's go up here. Take a shortcut here. I mean, the cross we got. But yeah, this board's going to be rather longer like a minute. Right now, we face off his boss. And yeah, this is good on We want yeah, three yellow ones. Right off the off to a planet west, which is the next zone. And there's where we get drill. So yeah, here is very, very drill oriented, and we get rocket here as well. So you'll be seeing a bit, of, bit of rocket here. Let's go. 
Now where do you have your numbers? Still here? So if I'm taking the five that would lead to the third judgment, which I don't want, because it gives a lot of messages to the alien. The first one in that is not good enough. Yeah. Now this is the final chase section, so we run away from this big machine that will crush you if you get caught. So yeah, that hit was deliberate so I could use my wings. Just one I picked before I can't reach the end. Right, onto the bar. I think I'm going to lose the boss off ground. Might take care of his health. Take care of his generator to dump the water because those help regenerate the generator's health. Go take him out until that kills it instantly. Literally, I have two more zones to go. Right, go in part. One for half the last hardwood. And we got it first fly. Now we have laser. Quite a bit faster. Amazing. Right, on track two. Yeah! 
Yeah, that's about the least you want to do. So you have to win that cycle. That's what you decide. I'm missing that fifth brother wing, so I wouldn't have any play. Amazing. Right now, I'll take out this boss. Fine, they just shot. Good, got it. Good inside. Alright, come to the next zone. I'm in the final zone, the asteroid coaster. Here's where we get the last whisper, and this whisper whispers void. If you play the wind version, except you fly instead of fly on the ground. For tutorials, let's go. I want to bring you a void in the box here. Do a massive jump there because I need to, so I'm just getting that resume. We slide on these. Slide under here. Yeah. By the way, you can see the skulls on this big hill. Now we're gonna get a laser there. Good. So, it's basically from our muscle memory. Gonna be practiced. Right, good time, 134. Amazing! No special pages, right. Why is Black Toy Toaster 2? Right, let's go. I might use the boys a little too early there.
Oh, that's good. Go on, help us out. I've dealt with one boy that is, has proven to be tricky before. And it depends on the cycling. Because I did make quite a few mistakes on this. Now, now we have to go for it. What? Go, we made it. Amazing! No special stages. Let's go. This is, I'm missing my boy, not doing like one two. I don't want to tell you, I'm missing my boy. I'm just big boy as fast as possible to do the challenge as possible. Once we see what happens. Yeah, with it, you should just, like, literally just eat the buff alive. Don't always get, like, some 24 consistency for this. But this will certainly do. Amazing! Right to terminal velocity, which is the stage. Alright, so this is the top down running section, which. Okay. We need to stop this. Like a boss. Five bases. The three is dodgeable. But but it took damage up to like two yeah. That we can find color blast though. Anything, but I'm just boosting. You have to play still and spin dash and still damage it. Except for the last one, you actually have to full spread. But for the other part, is that how you get the color card? This last one is also, you have all the face of easy, but now I just have to go here and just push jump. So this is the moment we've been waiting for. 
but this is a button mashing section. So once you use X, you'll be using all the wood that you got. And then you want to mash, mash the button going to it. For some reason, all four faces works, which is why you see this done very quickly. But right now. Yeah, it's that quick when you use all four buttons. So the time will the time's not up yet. The time will be when the score screen after this disappears. And time. Oh yeah, that's some of the colours yes, and they've done beat in under half an hour. Okay, yeah, so final time on our side, 29.52. Yeah, that checked out. Which is 8 seconds below estimate. Yeah, I was playing on the tight schedule because particularly sometime, like, at some point it's got to be done because I've been doing no resets and because it's been getting off half an hour, the record for this, by the way, is like 29, like, seven, which was which I set like before, so it doesn't give a lot of room for error. Yeah, that makes sense. Um, so, anyway, that is the end of the run. So, don't forget everybody, of course, we are doing this as a charity event for everyone can. If you'd like to donate, type exclamation mark donate in the chat. And uh, that will give you the Tiltify link to the Mini Speed on 2022 fundraiser. And all proceeds through that go to everyone can. We've raised £135 so far. That does not currently include things like Twitch subs, ads and stuff. So that's £135 of money that's been donated from you guys. Uh, don't forget, if we reach £250 by the end of the marathon, then I'll be giving away a copy of Train Simulator Classic at the end of the event. And our goal by the end of the marathon, of course, is £500. You can also subscribe, cheer, watch adverts, and that will also raise a bit of revenue. Uh, any Twitch revenue that is raised that way will be split 50-50 between ourselves and everyone can. So half of the Twitch revenue will go to everyone can as well, and half of merch sales as well. If you have exclamation mark merch in the chat, then you'll get a link to the Instasim store. Where you can buy mugs, coasters, birthday cards, Christmas cards and all the like. Um, and half of the profits from that as well will go to everyone can. So, uh, Speedbreaker, do you have any final things you'd like to say about your run, where people can find you and what you, uh, where people can find out more about your run and stuff? Yeah, thank you. So, basically, I run regularly on Twitch on my channel SP55. I also have videos that I have uploaded onto my channel, which are all the other categories in this game, other like all levels, all red rings, and even 100%, which involve the true ending as well, as well as the other two games in the Rush series, like the Rush and Sonic Black Adventure, the true ending and the early percent ones. So yeah, feel free to check that out. I'm happy to have like, basically like done this like half an hour like the first time on the marathon, and that's going to be all for me. Okay, thank you very much for the run, and we'll see you again soon. Right, yeah, see you soon.